Hi there, Robin here, and in this video we're going to be talking about Pile PP HP 1235. Now this is a rechargeable speaker, awesome for parties, easy to use, you can use it as a PA speaker, you can use it as a karaoke speaker. We're going to cover all the features and benefits of having one of these speakers in this video. So let's start with all the features on the back of this speaker. It is fully loaded. We're gonna start normally where we end in most of the videos, which is with the on-off switch, because this on-off switch does a little bit more than a regular switch. First of all, because it has a rechargeable battery in it, they did make some improvements on how it works. I can either have it on AC only, which means I'm gonna be plugging the power cord in, in the off position, which would also be in the charging position, so then it'll charge the battery, which we only wanna do for about four to eight hours, no more than that. Then we can have it in the battery position. The battery position now powers the unit up because I don't have an AC power cord plugged into it and we do have a fully charged battery. Now going over the system like we traditionally do, we're gonna go all the way back up to the top. On the top, we have ourselves a built-in Bluetooth and MP3 player with FM radio. From this unit here, we can now move down to all the input options and line adjustments. So right off the hop, we have line out and line in. So line in would be somewhere for me to plug something in. So if I don't have Bluetooth, let's say on my TV, and I need to get myself an analog to digital adapter, I can then plug that right into here. The output allows me to plug this into some other stereo or to some bigger system or into a second speaker, which can or cannot be the matching set to this guy. That's okay. There's no right or wrong way for having more sound. You just need to plug that in via the line out. So the first knob that we get after the RCAs is line volume. So this is going to determine how much of the actual line level here we're going to get in the system. Then after that, we end up with some bass and treble controls right here. So we can adjust our highs and our lows right from these two knobs here. At the end is the actual main volume out. This is what's going to turn up the volume on the speaker in the front right off the hop. This is our main master volume. If we go down to the next row, we're now going to find out that we have, besides two built-in wireless microphones, we can have an extra microphone or we can plug a guitar in. Built-in high Z right into this actual input here. That means the guitar will work properly or bass guitar if you plug it into line one. Beside that, then we have mic number two, and that is also for an additional microphone. So now we're up to a total of four mics, two corded mics plus the two wireless mics, part of the package. Then we have mic volume. So this is going to control the overall volume of these two jacks plus the sum total of these two adjustments here. Beside that, you get echo and reverb time delay. Basically, it allows you to choose your echo style that you want, and then you can make it as big or as little as you want by turning the second knob. So again, if you're buying this for karaoke, this is awesome features. Then the last group of knobs with the button beside it that is going to be for our wireless microphone package. So you do get two wireless handheld microphones included, a left and a right. All you need to do is turn the mic on. So here we go. Now we know that we have the mic on. I'll turn it off. And we realized that the mic that I had in my hand was B because the green light was on. If we decide to turn on the second mic, we'll notice that mic A goes on and that's the one we have on right now. I can adjust the volume levels of that, turn that mic off, grab the second mic, turn that mic on, that's mic B, and that has its own volume control right here. Now remember that's always proportionate to where we're gonna have our main volume set up. And it's as simple as that. Those are our wireless microphones, part of the package. Just comes in the box, all you need to do is get yourself some good AA batteries, and you're all set for that. Take note for these antennas. These are antennas for the microphone. So if you plan on getting some distance between you and the speaker with your microphones, you can pull these antennas out or put them back in. Uh, if you're having distance problems with the microphones, like you can't get more than 20 feet away from them, then definitely pull them up and out of the way. This unit also comes with wheels and a pull-up handle located right on top. So all of that, the battery is built inside. It's a standard battery. If I'm not mistaken, it's uh, about seven amp hour battery. If you ever need to replace it over time, you just would unscrew the actual screws here and that'll give you access to the inside of the speaker. And in which case you'll see the battery strapped at the bottom. 
batteries are also available on Amazon, so it makes it kind of easy to get one of those if you need a replacement. So remember to charge it, put the switch in the middle. Now you're in a position to charge the actual speaker, give it four to six hours, you'll be fine. AC is gonna actually run the system on the AC power alone. If you put it in battery mode, it will run the system from the battery. Now let's talk about the front and the power options on it. So again, this unit comes with two wireless microphones. Really important, nice, easy to use, just unscrew the bottom. They use a digital UHF system, which basically locks the signal and it filters out any other channels. So this way reception is gonna be good every time you use it. Also, it is, like I said, battery powered. It's gonna run between four to eight hours, depending on the volume level. I know some companies like to brag about incredibly long amount of time on, on battery, but if they're running it only at 10-15%, of course you can get all that kind of time out of it. If you ran this at 25%, I guarantee you're probably gonna get eight hours out of it, probably. So, that being said, how much power it has. Now, they advertise that it's 1,000 watts peak and 500 RMS. I'm gonna cap it as it's really loud. If you're gonna have six to eight people in the house or maybe 12 in the backyard or something like that and you need a party speaker, that's probably a good way to go. Same thing in the rec room. If I'm jumping the number up to 25 plus and I've got a really big backyard, maybe I get the 15 inch version of it. But to start with on a 12 inch, really nice, easy to carry around, which is really important if you're going to use it as a PA speaker. Uh, you can use it for virtually anything from, from amplifying just a classroom, just because you need to make your voice heard, uh, to having it, like I said, for parties and karaoke. Great way to start with a party speaker. Lots of people have it, lots of people like it. Well, that pretty much wraps up everything on this speaker for this video. I hope this helped you out a little bit. Maybe we'll see you in the next video. I'd like to say thanks for watching. Bye for now.